you're someone who is wanting to get into DIY home renovation or even home maintenance, or if you're just a little bit, you know, getting started in the process, you got a few projects maybe under your belt, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to be talking about DIY home renovation for beginners and four key tips on how to do that, how to do it well, and things you should know before getting into it and wasting all your money and time on DIY home renovation. So before we get into it, I'm Chris and I run a DIY home renovation channel here that you're watching and I've been doing DIY home renovation for four or five years now. You can see most of my projects here on the channel. Go check them out. I've done everything from, you know, bathroom extensions, bathroom renovations, tiling, doing a tub install, toilet install, painting, building tables, building coffee cabinet, uh, doing a full home extension build, 600 square feet, all by myself, mostly by myself. I've done drywall, I've done roofing, I made this office right here. This is my latest build, actually, super fun job, and I've also done two different houses renovating them my first house we we bought for around 250 sold for 370 the market was real like insanely good so take that with a grain of salt but still we did that um and then my other home we sold we kind of neutraled out but we bought it for around 300 sold it for around 400 did you know basically a full renovation of the house besides the kitchen Go check out the videos on my channel, see what I've been up to, see if you want to do some of the same projects. So without further ado, here are four tips to help you with your beginning DIY home renovation journey. So the first one is to know your goal. And there are two basic goals of DIY home renovation. One is that you want to renovate your home so that it can be more of your style, uh, more homey for you, it can feel better for your family. Cool. The other one is to do home renovation as an investment. So one's basically for yourself and the other one's to increase the value of your home, to sell your home, make money on it. That's the goal at least. Uh, so taking those into consideration, you need to know which one you're going to do because this kind of determines how you proceed with DIY home renovation and how you set up all the things, what tools you buy, what projects you do, what colors you pick, uh, what fixtures you pick, what projects you start with, how much money you spend, so on and so forth. So let's go into an example. Say you have a kitchen renovation that you want to do, right? And you want to do it for yourself. So for yourself, you want to do your kitchen. You're going to be in your home for 10, 20 years maybe. Um, so what do you want to do for your kitchen? You have cabinets. You don't like your cabinets. You want to switch them out. Okay, cool. It's in the budget. Cool. You want to change out the countertop. It's in your budget. Okay, cool. You want a new fridge. Okay, let's switch that out. Cool. All these are like pretty simple. They're pretty simple answers. You don't need to, you know, have this full blown plan, you know, do your budget, whatever. Cool. But if you're planning on pouring money into your house to sell it, that changes up the conversation. Now, in your kitchen, you have a budget. The cabinets are okay. Will the next buyers like the cabinets? Will they work for them? Yeah, probably. Okay, maybe we don't change out the whole cabinets. Maybe we just paint them a different color. What color do we paint them? Do we want to color them something uh, weird? Something dark? Something light? That will kind of determine how you make your decision. If your budget is, you know, only 10K, do you want to go with the Ikea kitchen? Do you want to go from, you know, cabinets from Home Depot? Do you want to switch out your countertops for, for marble, for granite? Like how extravagant do you want to do? If you want to get the most bang for your buck, which is probably what you want to do for DIY home renovation and for investing in your home, you know, keep the cabinets, paint them white, you know, replace the countertop with a granite, something you know, minimal, something, you know, white with speckles, uh, you know, with an accent, black piece. All these decisions can come by just laying out what your goal is, what your budget is. And you can't do that unless you know that you're doing it for investment or you're doing it for your personal self. With your personal self, go crazy, you know, choose wild colors, 
do whatever you want. But for an investment, you know, choose who your marketing avatar is. You know, if it, if your area is really popular with, um, I don't know, Hispanic folks in their 30s, uh, they have families of, you know, four to six people, like make decisions based on that. Um, or maybe your avatar is, you know, single guys uh, in their 30s and they often have a roommate um, and they're a little bit more bougie, like whatever, like get an avatar and, you know, plan your house around that. I do talk about that more in a different video that you can go check out. Um, but that's a general idea of point one. Now, the last point in this series is kind of going to determine all the rest of these points, um, or kind of, uh, sit. It's the cornerstone, if you will, of DIY home renovation. So stick around for that. Um, point two here is how you go about learning to DIY. So learning to DIY is a task. It takes a lot of research, a lot of time. Um, so my suggestion is to start small. What is starting small? It means starting cheap. What can you do for cheap? And what can you do that causes the minimalist amount, the minimal amount of damage? Uh, something like painting. Paint an accent wall. If you've never painted a house before, painted a room, painted a wall before, do that because you'll quickly learn that painting is harder than you think. <laughs> Getting the line straight is a task. Even if you have tape, it's still hard to do. Another thing could be like hanging a towel rack. Does it have one circle? And so the, the minimal amount of damage is just that circle. Or if it's the two with the longer pole, you know, that makes it even harder. You have to level it. You have to make sure the holes are right. You know, you could also just hang a picture. <laughs> you know, that's a minimal amount of damage. That's not really renovation, but you get the point. Um, do something that has minimal amount of damage, minimal cost. And if you need to call someone to fix it, you can do that. Don't just go about, you know, breaking your whole kitchen apart and spending $20,000 to do something you have no idea how to do. Start laying tile, start doing backsplash, start, you know, waterproofing your shower. All that stuff is hard to do and you wanna take baby steps to get to that point. The third tip that I have here is that DIY home renovation always is more expensive than you think and will take longer than you plan. That's right, more expensive, more time. It's just how it works. And especially if you're someone who lives with other people or you live with your family or if you have kids, it will just take longer. Like you need to set aside time, you gotta plan it out, um, but it's always gonna take longer. Always expect to spend more. If you expect to do, you know, some small renovations for a thousand bucks, plan for 2000 bucks. Always add 10, 20, 30% onto your budget and it will come out even more. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, if you plan for a little bit extra spin, it should cover you. If you plan for extra time, you know, it will take even longer. You know, there's always a running joke that projects are always, you know, 90% done when you're doing home renovation. It's because things just take a long time to finish. And then even more so, there's always a little more thing to do. One more thing to do. And so always plan for more money and more time in your projects. I've definitely found that to be the case. Now, the last part on here, part four, point four, key four, is home renovation is hard. Now, this is kind of the cornerstone of home renovation, especially if you're trying to invest in your home to sell it and to make money on it, but also if you're trying to live in it because DIY home renovation is hard and you will make mistakes. Now, there's a reason why you pay other people to do renovations in your home. There's a reason why it costs as much as it does besides material, labor costs, and hiring a general contractor. It's because it's a lot of work. If you're gonna do it by yourself, you have to spend a lot of time on YouTube learning from random people and gathering the bits of data from those channels and trying to you know make it make sense to you and that takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort i remember when i did my first shower oh man the hours i put in to try to learn how to waterproof my shower just like intellectually was was ridiculous like the the material on how to waterproof your shower was so like sparse around 
the internet and there's this one guy who i'd watched like 20 of his videos but he never talked about the process in total it was always in pieces so it was like stupid hard to figure out um i hope that shower is still standing today i think i did it right <laughs> but yeah it's hard like like i said earlier painting doing the lines no one says that it's hard until you do it and you're like oh this is a little bit harder and then you start doing more things like how to get you know your tower rack level it's like oh okay um you're hanging a tv on the wall and it comes off the wall because you don't put it in a stud because you've never done it before no one's ever told you uh yes i have destroyed a tv hanging on sheet rock don't be like me um, and then you know, get into, you want to break down a wall because it looks so easy to do on the internet and you break it down and it's a support structure so you're not sure what to do. Uh, and you spend another 10 hours on YouTube trying to figure it out. Or you don't know how to uh, much sheetrock, like all these little things you have to learn how to do. But then you also have to do them well so that it looks good and it doesn't look like crap in your house. And that's even harder to do. And so even for my home extension, I paid someone to do the floating of the sheetrock because I didn't want it to look like crap. And I knew that if I did it, it would look like crap. I would spend way too long doing it. I would get so much dust in my lungs from doing it. And yeah, I really learned my limit testing out doing sheetrock on smaller projects so that when it came to something that was serious, I knew that it wasn't for me. I knew that I needed to pay someone to do it right. Um, this is why you start small and move to big. Uh, same thing with tiling. I, I tiled a small shower and it took me forever. So if I ever do tile again, I'm going to pay someone to do it because they do it where it looks professional, it's going to last, and yeah, it's just worth their time. It's not worth my time to try to do it. Um, so yeah, you need to learn your limitation with DIY home renovation. It's hard. You'll spend a lot of time, a lot of money doing it. Um, but it is fun. It can be very valuable to your life. It can be very valuable to your home. You can make good money investing into your home and it's cheaper. Of course, usually unless you mess things up and have to pay someone, then it's double the cost. But there are a lot of benefits to doing DIY home renovation and I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I more so even enjoy just like building you know, like an office or home extension, stuff like that. Um, not just pure renovation, but more like building and constructing and stuff. So those are the four tips. Number one is know your goal. Getting into DIY home renovation is it an investment or is it for just yourself um, for long term living in it? Number two is start small, work your way up, learn the skills. Number three is things always take longer and are more expensive than you think. Number four is DIY home renovation, renovation is hard, it's difficult, and sometimes it's better just to pay someone to do it. But if you put all four of those together, it will help you get started with, with your journey in DIY. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, check out my channel for other you know tutorials and insights. And yeah, that's it. Appreciate you watching. Hit a subscribe, hit a like, and I'll see you later. See you out there. Toodaloo.